freedom will be free. On a freezing cold winter night in 1792, ships sailed onto your harbour. Freed slaves determined to fight, to reach a land of liberty, to grab the tree of hope. Lieutenant John Claxon, our gallant ancestor, three times founder, sailed from Nova Scotia. Those cargo ships brought him here to govern a blessed land of slaves, free, free from racism and discrimination, free, free from the rationing of Canadian provisions, where being black was no longer a crime. A foreigner, an activist, well ahead of his time. My black royalist forefathers are guardian angels of free town. Your favour still flows abundantly in our town. You've impassioned a call for democracy. You drive a strive to advocate for our nation's unity. Black loyalists bravely battled the turbulent sea, selling on hope stronger than boulders. The new Creole liberty and future rested firmly on their strong shoulders. Freetown was rocked on January 6, 1999, in a gruesome civil war. We ploughed through. Hatred doesn't define us. Unity, freedom and justice define our coat of arms. Not guns, bullets or firearms. Free Tonians battle the Ebola pandemic in a country where poverty is endemic and the might of a collective power we soared through, spurred on by that passion that made black loyalists pursue, a realisation of the dream, the all Free Tonians dream, to build on the foundations of liberty that were born when Europe ended slavery, to grasp the cup of wealth and sip abundantly. That voyage that brought Christianity, that courage that faced calamity, that collective sense of humanity, that love that notches nationality, that quest that broke the chains of slavery, that voyage to freedom's future. When brotherly love and respect for each other's dignity become the chains that interlock Freetown's structure. <laughs>